Hey guys, Space here, bringing you a tutorial in Vegas on how to do a depth of field type thing. Depth of field is whenever you're like on a cinematic or something and it's focusing on the guy and it's blurry behind him. So, um, we're just going to import our clip, our cinematic, find a good spot that is a picture, so like right there for me. We're going to make sure this is set to best full. We're going to click save snapshot to file. And I'm just going to replace this one. Now it's in our Sony Vegas. So we're going to delete our, go ahead and delete our clip. I'm just going to delete this audio track here. We're going to bring that down on the video track. We're going to right click the video track. Duplicate layer. Now what we're going to do is we're going we're gonna to have to like mask it so on the top one click the event pan crop button and what we're gonna do is I'm gonna zoom in a bit oops and we're just gonna click mask make sure this tool is selected and we're just gonna mask around the guy now this mask isn't be gonna be good because it's this for the sake of a tutorial I would take much more longer on this if it was for a project and mask around the guy like that now I'm just gonna mute this bottom layer and that's what it looks like so far and you can see it's really choppy around the edges like a sharp triangle shape there so right here where it says feather type we're gonna go to both and the feather percent um, bring that to I'd say the max would be about three and that kind of adds like a mini vignette kind of thing and I'm just gonna go ahead and unmute this layer now what we're gonna do is go down to Gaussian blur under our video effects and we're just gonna import any one I'm gonna import my preset and we're gonna drag it make sure you drag it on the bottom layer or else um, like that's focusing on the guy if you want to focus on the stuff behind them you're gonna import it on our first one so now it's focusing back there and I'm just gonna focus it on him those are my settings 0 0.0070 those are my favorite settings and that's pretty much it I'm also gonna show you a cool active camera um, you have to download this, it's a plugin, and it's called New Blue. I might make a tutorial on that later. I'm just going to import handheld. And if you do it, like, don't import it to just one. You have to import it to both, or else it will look messed up. So I'm just going to put this on preview half, and show you what it looks like. Okay guys, that's what it looks like. Um, what active camera is, it's like a shaking kind of effect. Like as in if you're holding a camera and like everyone has like those shakes. And yeah, so that's the tutorial guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.